Imagine you have failed a university course. If you were immediately overwhelmed by immense disappointment and struggle to recover, you likely have high emotional reactivity. Emotional reactivity refers to ease of activation, intensity, and persistence of emotional responses. This video focuses on the brain to explain key biological factors in emotional reactivity and their relevance to psychological well-being. Hopefully this video will improve your understanding of your own emotional tendencies and how they can be changed. Some people are more reactive than others, and some are more reactive specifically to either positive or negative stimuli. Differences in patterns of prefrontal cortex activation, amygdala sensitivity, and prevalence of pleasure relative to fear-generating zones in the nucleus accumbens all contribute to individual reactivity. The prefrontal cortex interprets emotionally relevant information based on current goals and prior learning. Patterns of prefrontal activity provide contextual cues which either enhance or reduce excitability in the limbic system. The limbic system, particularly the amygdala and the nucleus accumbens, activates initial emotional reactions. The amygdala makes quick decisions about the relevance of a stimulus and whether it is helpful or harmful, resulting in desire or fear. Connections to lower prefrontal areas reduce amygdala activity during downregulation of stress. During acute stress, however, the amygdala indirectly inhibits the prefrontal cortex, reducing regulatory capacity to make way for fast fight-or-flight responses. The nucleus accumbens has a keyboard-like mechanism, which may be the source of like and dislike feelings. Activating different locations on its shell triggers different mixtures of desire and dread, just as pressing different keys on a keyboard triggers different notes. Nature and nurture work together to result in these differences in brain structure and function. This is good news because it means that external factors such as adequate sleep, practicing mindfulness or visiting a favorite place can increase positive and decrease negative reactivity on a neurological level. REM sleep re-establishes prefrontal amygdala connectivity and deep potentiates amygdala responses to past emotional stimuli. In other words, it increases emotion regulation capacity and decreases amygdala sensitivity to prior events. Mindful people often have higher positive and lower negative reactivity. Lower negative reactivity was associated with reduced amygdala activity in mindfulness beginners, but not experts. Instead, experts showed prefrontal deactivation. Apparently, not engaging in prefrontal interpretation of emotions is as effective as downregulation in reducing subjective emotional impact. Finally, being in a pleasant environment expands pleasure zones in your nucleus accumbens and reduces fear zones. Basically, being somewhere you like simultaneously decreases potential for negative reactions and increases potential for positive reactions. Now remember, the amygdala and the nucleus accumbens are origin points for emotion reactions. But prefrontal interpretation contributes to the subjective experience of emotional reactions and influences limbic excitability with contextual cues. Emotional reactivity is based in the brain but influenced by your decisions and environment. Biological predispositions are not set in stone. Created using Powtoon.